nine. Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Okay, all flight controllers gonna go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Go. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Russia, or the Soviet Union previously, were the first ones to explore space by sending their first artificial satellite in 1957, Sputnik 1. And the United States of America weren't happy about that because they were in a two-man race to the exploration of space. At that point, the USA created NASA, the National Aeronautical and Space Agency for the Exploration of Space, and that was in 1958. In 1961, the Soviet Union succeeded in sending their cosmonaut, Yuri Gagarin, to complete one orbit of Earth with his capsule, Vostok 1. After that, the President of the United States, back then John Kennedy, declared that by the end of the decade, which means before 1970, the USA will land on the moon, and that was the case. The United States of America landed on the moon's surface for the first time in 1969, and the mission was called Apollo 11. The astronauts who participated in that mission were the famous Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. And the ones who had the chance to actually walk on the moon were Armstrong and Aldrin. Collins kept orbiting around the moon, waiting for the others to dock again within the spaceship. But the question is, did they really land on the moon or was the whole thing faked and it's only a hoax? And was this faked mission filmed in a studio on Earth? Before we begin, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. The astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson explained his opinion about this in his interview with Pagan's Books UK, and he said that the USA really landed on the moon and the Apollo mission wasn't a hoax. And if they wanted to fake this, they would have to spend more money faking it than actually going there. And he finished by saying, No, but yeah, we went to the moon. But so many Americans and people around the world say that NASA and the USA faked the whole thing. Like, they never went to the moon, and let's be honest, their arguments are convincing. Some of them are pretty good ones. For instance, there were no signs of the stars during the process. The flag that Audrin put on the surface of the moon was moving back and forth, and everyone knows that there's no atmosphere or air on the moon. And in that period, a book also published by the American author Bill Kasich called We Never Went to the Moon, America's $30 Billion Swindle, where he said all the six Apollo moon landing between 1969 and 1972 were all hoaxes. But NASA replied to all these accusations by so many proofs that confirm that the moon landing happened and it is no hoax. First, they explained the absence of the stars in the pictures by saying that this was caused by the sunlight. They said that it was so bright they couldn't take pictures of the stars and the cameras back then were not able to catch such a picture in such an exposure to such light. Second, they explained the movement of the flag by saying that the picture of the flag was taken at the moment Aldrin put the flag on the soil, so it was at the movement of manipulation. All the astronauts who went brought samples from the moon, they brought rocks and they analyzed them, and recently in 2009, the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter took some pictures that proves that the landing is true. But again, this orbiter was in NASA's, so once again, people said NASA still is lying to us. But after the analysis of the samples that they bought, they discovered that the moon and the Earth are from the same origin. If the moon landing was a lie, they would never do studies about the Earth because they wouldn't have true evidence of these studies. But the fact that they pursued their research means that the moon landing was not a lie. Another thing that proves that the moon landing is a true story, the astronauts who went there after their expedition on the surface, when they went to ascend and go docking on the spaceship, that is the orbit of the moon. They need to leave pieces of the capsule. And NASA released all these pictures that were taken by the astronauts themselves, who went there and they put all the photos in Flickr with quotes and stories. Another proof that confirms the moon landing is, when the astronauts went to the moon, they didn't just go to explore without taking with them the instruments that collects data, so they installed these instruments on the surface to study the properties of the moon. Some of the instruments installed there are the seismometer that studies the moonquakes and moon's seismic activity, but it stopped functioning in 1977. They also left the Lunar Laser Ranging Retro Reflector arrays, which still works until today, enabling us to reflect lasers off of the reflective surfaces to measure the Earth-to-Moon distance. 
they installed the SWC, Solar Wind Composition Experiment, that collects data about the flux and composition of solar wind particles that reach the Moon's surface. There are also the SWS, Solar Wind Spectrum, and LSM, Lunar Surface Magnometer, experiments. The first one did exactly the same thing as the SWC, except for the energy spectrum of the solar wind particles rather than the composition measured by the SWC experiment. The second one, the LSM experiment, was designed to measure the lunar magnetic field, and finally the LDD, Lunar Dust Detector Experiment, was initially installed to measure how solar panels degraded due to lunar dust deposited from the accent stage and others. They left so many instruments that deliver data to the scientists about the moon and its properties, and all this is so beneficial to space exploration and further studies. So what's the truth of Apollo missions? At the moment, the moon landing seems a conspiracy theory to many people, and others believe the landing was real and there's no conspiracy at all. NASA gave their arguments, the anti-moon landing gave theirs, and now it's up to us to believe in what we think is true.